this is a uh, customization in rice we have number dividers i made some custom ones i just wanted to style them a little differently then realized there are a lot a lot of people uh, requesting additional functionality to the number dividers and the built-in limitation it's actually kind of a feature but it becomes kind of a limitation and this has a lot of people have been discussing it uh, like I said I think there's 60 or 70 responses to this uh, it's a decent workaround using a quote block but here, let me let's uh, discuss what the uh, what the actual issue is it automatically numbers your dividers the problem is if you wanted to have like two sets like a one through five and then a one through four you can't on the same page or in the same lesson because it's automatically numbering so that would just be a one through nine um, and also you can't have a list that goes over from one lesson to another so if you want to have like one through 100 across your entire course across multiple lessons you, you can't do that it, it just renumbers on each page so we've got some some limitations um and here i've got uh just this just a regular text block but i've inserted some styles to make it look like the number divider uh, and then you, the cool thing, you can save it as a custom block. I just started using custom blocks that you can save. They're, they're awesome. And I'll show you real quick, and then we can change the, uh, the width. I like to make my dividers go, go wide. Um, and now I'll, I'll show you real quick how we can, uh, get these, these number dividers it, and then how to save them so here's here's the code don't be afraid as i know it looks like a lot of uh, html and css but it's it's pretty easy once you see what's going on so you can you can copy it and paste the code now to make a new one let's start fresh it's just a regular text html block i mean just a, a regular text block i'm gonna Delete all that text so I don't need it. And now I can't seem to style my. What's going on here? What am I doing wrong? I can't style my text. What's wrong? Is this a bug? I'm gonna refresh and <laughs> pray that the text editor works. Please, please, please. I'm recording. Okay, there we go. So basically, and when when you change the background color of something or the text color in the editor, it's adding a little span. It's just a little span. The cool thing is we can add custom styles to this span. And I come from the web design uh, world. Um, and so to me, this is this is basic stuff normally we'd keep this in a style sheet but uh, kind of a fun way to add custom blocks in rise we can we can put our our in uh, more of like inline CSS so you can see I I just styled that span so you can see how we can start to create a custom divider in our custom dividers that I have they're actually two spans so i just pasted if you go to right click and then uh inspect then edit as html you can paste in that html that i give you the code for so now you can insert that block and just change the the number to what whatever you want you can even letter them or 1A, 1B, what, whatever naming convention you want. That's the, the real power of this uh, custom block. And now we can s just save it as a custom block. So next time when I go to insert, 
um, I've, I've got all the, the style saved so I don't have to do that whole copy and paste. I can just add the new block and then add my my numbering, uh, which is manual. You gotta keep your numbers in order, but that really just takes a couple seconds to enter your own your own number. So, okay, there's my new one and 162. And if anyone has ideas for another style of a divider, let me know. I'll, I'll add it to my page so people can can have that. If it's a good looking, if it's a good idea, it's, it's easy to over design a, just a divider. It should be pretty simple. But uh, you can let me know uh, in the comments or you can DM me if you have an idea for a uh, another divider style. <laughs>